Hey everybody, welcome back to another day of Herp Miss. If you're new here, my name is Zoe, but most people know me on here, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter as ZA Reptiles. So today we're gonna have another gift guide. I have fallen a little behind in Herp Miss videos, but I've been trying, trying, trying to get to this gift guide because we're running out of time to shop, especially if we need something shipped. So I'm trying to get this out as quickly as I can to make sure you still have time to shop. First things first though, this is this year's Christmas merch. It is Arcadius and Muppet. Um, so I don't know if it is too late to order to have in time for Christmas, but you can check it out. Merch link in bio. But I am obsessed with this one. Obviously, it's got my little boy. May he rest in peace. So I am obsessed with this sweater. And we will have our first, I don't know if I'll do more, but first Hurtmas giveaway for YouTube at the end of this video. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are. I've been doing several Herpmas giveaways over there, and I plan to do a couple more before Christmas. So make sure that you're not missing out by following over there. But we'll talk about the YouTube Herpmas giveaway at the end of this video. Okay, so I've already done a Herpetology gift guide. That's my business. That was one of the first Herpmas videos. So you can check that out. Um, now today is going to be a Reptile Keeper gift guide. One of the gift guides that I do every single year. And I'm trying to switch it up from the last couple of years. I will link the last couple of years of gift guides below. So if you need more ideas, you can check those out. I will have a couple of repeats in this video, but I'm really trying to not repeat a bunch of stuff every year. Try to give you guys new, fresh ideas. So let's jump into it. So I will always talk about this little gadget because most people don't know about it. So if you haven't seen my previous gift guides, then you don't know about this, more than likely. So, normally every year I say temperature gun. Still a good idea, but I've said it every year. This is like a temperature gun, but for humidity. So it is a humidity reader. Turn it on, Ooh, turn it on, this is a little screen. You put it in the enclosure and it reads the humidity for you. It also does have the temperature on it, so you can get your air temp on here while you're getting your humidity too. So very, very handy if you like need a very accurate humidity reading on the spot, turn it on, stick it in there, let it read for a little while, check it, see what the humidity says. So, also everything will be linked down below, Amazon, small business shops, everything will be linked below. Amazon links will be affiliate links, which means that when you do purchase through those links, I do get a small commission for sending you there. It only helps with all the upgrades and whatnot that I have going on. Um, so thank you, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does put a little bit more into the animal's pockets. Okay, up next, if your person you're buying for has a arboreal gecko, crested gecko, gargoyle gecko, get, you can get them some gecko food. You can never have too much ge gecko food. So, for example, this is some rapashi. You can also buy pangea. There's tons of different flavors. Some have insects, some don't. If you don't know what flavor to get, get them all. You get multiple. Get some with insects and some with just fruit. Get a variety. It's great. As a gecko owner, I would love to be gifted tons of Pangea and Rapashi. Because I'm sitting here going, it's almost empty. And I don't want to buy more. So kind of sticking to that theme a little bit, if they have arboreal geckos, reusable food dishes. So I think I've mentioned these in the past. I got some like rubber silicone little ones from a, an expo. Super convenient, you let it dry, you flip it inside out, the food falls out, you clean it down, reuse it. Um, however, my geckos are adults now. They need more food than what fits in those little ones. So I haven't been able to find a bigger reusable gecko food cup. I've been buying the biodegradable ones from like Pangea or on Amazon, but I hate that like, it's still so much waste. I still have to throw things away. I still have to rebuy them when they're gone. So finally, I searched for reusable cups and discovered Strudy's on Etsy. So Strudy's is a semi-local company. They are a company here in New York, which is super awesome. I do get my things very quickly from them. I have now ordered two sets of these. Um, so this is what they look like. They are just 3D printed little bowls, little dishes but they're still super easy to clean. Once you let the food just dry out, it knocks right out, you wipe it down, you give it a clean, and it's good to go. So these do come in sets of four, so now I have two of them, so I have eight of these to swap in and out 
of enclosures and it has been so amazing they hold plenty of food they fit right into your typical crystal gecko ledges so these fit every single one of my ledges i have three different ledges in my three enclosures these fit in every single one of them so highly recommend these great gift for gecko keepers these are new this year so fun feeding tongs usually you find just silver sometimes you'll find just like black plastic i don't know um if you can find some of these like holographic feeding tongs these are so freaking cool i got these at tinley park narbc back in october when i went um i saw these i thought they were amazing I had to have a pair because they're just so unique they add like a fun little twist to the reptile room they're so cool so if you can find some cool feeding tongs like how unique is that i say it and say it again a scale and more specifically a fun looking scale you have a cute aesthetic scale to track your animal's weights on you should be tracking weights make sure that they're healthy you need a cute scale to do it on and this literally came right from walmart I don't know if they still have it because I got it years ago, um, but if I can find one online, I will link it below. Cute aesthetic scale. Must have. Alright, so supporting small businesses again. Reptile art, reptile stickers. I actually got these in a Christmas gift swap, so I honestly don't know who the artist is. So if any of you recognize these and can let me know who the artist is, that would be great. Um, but I got these in the mail. Um, so just to show you a couple, we've got this green tree monitor, we've got a chameleon, tokay, so there's some examples, I have some stickers from Terra Tiger Studio, super cute, oh, went out of focus, she also makes um, pins, there's artists that make prints, um, I have stickers in my shop, prints in my shop, Herpetology, um, like I said that was Terra Tiger Studio, I don't know who the first stickers were from, but you even search on like Red Bubble for reptiles, you can find artists there, so it's just really awesome to be able to support some, some artists during the holiday season, it makes us feel good. You can never go wrong with stickers and prints and things of the like with reptile artwork on them. I don't know why that just went out of focus. Alright, what's next? I guess we'll kind of go off of reptile artwork. This is for if you really, really love someone. Or if you just have lots of money and you're willing to spend it. And that is painted skulls. I cherish my alligator painted skulls. I have two of them. I have this green one from Argama Arts. And I have a blue one from Crystal Remains. You guys know blue and green those are my colors so obviously i needed one in each color to really just fit the theme absolutely love them absolutely obsessed i always get questions about them they are a pricier gift you really have to love the person or just be absolutely loaded with money um but they are so so cool they are amazing they would make an awesome awesome gift so maybe if you're buying for a significant other Hint, hint, if there's any men watching, um, I think your girlfriend would probably love these, or your wife, or whoever, would absolutely adore these. Um, if you're following me on TikTok or Instagram, I've been doing reptile gift guides there, so you've seen both of them. So if you want more ideas, I have been posting a gift guide a day on TikTok and Instagram as well. Wouldn't be a gift guide if I didn't shout out my shop, Herpetology. Um, only because I have this sitting up here and it's very unique so I wanted to show it off because I didn't show it in my gift guide for herpetology so I make tons of unique things for reptile keepers reptile moms um, this is a tissue box that I currently have in this shop it's got this gold snake on this side the top has these kind of bohemian looking arrows a very cute addition to a reptile keepers house the bottom just slides out to install a tissue box into but this is still available in the shop just so I am so I always try to keep fun unique things like that in the store things that you're not gonna find anywhere else of course we always have apparel hats shirts 
sweatpants, anything that's like snake print, reptile print, croc embossed. So no real like skin stuff. We're, we don't know about that. But like embossed items. So fake. Fake. Um, I did get this one for Christmas this year. Same from my stickers in my little like, Zoo Creeper gift swap. She sent me a hat with this little snake on it that looks just like Zero. So I'm obsessed. So even better if you can find some sort of apparel item for one of the animals they currently have. That makes it even a little more personal. Very awesome. Okay, the last thing I mentioned, and this one's a new one that I haven't mentioned. One more of a unique item for Christmas, um, and that is a small photo box or a big photo box, whatever photo box you want, um, so they can take great pictures of their animals. So I got this small one to take pictures of my animals and some product photos for Etsy. Um, and we have a big one at work that works really great. So I will link both below so you have a reference for a small one and for a big one. This small one does come with lots of background color options, which I thought was very cool. It has a light installed, very easy to set up. It has worked great, works great for photos. My problem was I tried to film with it and the box is not wide enough really for filming so I have to really zoom in. But this box is how I made the Hermes intro so it did end up working out. But great for pictures so they can take cute aesthetic pictures of their animals. Okay so the Hermes giveaway, I'm giving away a $10 digital, digital Pangea gift card to one lucky winner. So rules, you just have to make sure that wherever you live Pangea can ship to you so that you can use that gift card. Um, and how to enter, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And then let me know in the comments what is the one thing that you are hoping for for Christmas this year. And then in one week, I will randomly select a winner and I will ask you to contact me so that I can send you the $10 Pangea gift card. All right. So as always, thank you guys for joining me for another Hurtmas video. If you have any ideas that I didn't mention that you think would be very unique or great, leave them in the comments and I will see you for the next video. Okay, bye!